I used to be I used to be out in the project with my grandma I used to be on um, having me singing R. Kelly and shit mm -hmm. like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, free that boy R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? I was I was I was young nigga and I was like three four years old out like, there singing. You know what I'm saying? Singing that shit word for word. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it like all my life, bro. Like I was just going. You know what I'm saying? Like real shit. I'm sure that's like the first person you started jamming to, playing, like listening to, like yeah, probably that was like the first person I would like. Cause my grandma knew used to be so fucked up about them. Like we used to be in the breeze when shit in the apartments. You know, she had my little homegirl in my dad and chill and shit. She be going out there saying that. You know what I'm saying? I just cut the blend down, I'm finna make a smoothie Baby, turn around, I'm tryna see you in that two-piece It must be April 1st, the girl, I swear you could've fooled me Poppin' up the shows and shit, like, mama, you finna lose me Poppin' up the shows and shit, baby, what's your issue? You say you ain't me pickin' up the phone and buy this Started going to the booth and like recording, or was it like a tape? Like, how did you remember your first start on the music? My first song was uh, I did, I did, I was probably like, probably like 16 mm. when I first went to the studio. Solo or group, like, take us there. I was solo, but it was some niggas whose studio I was, and they kind of had some little shit going on too. They used to be in there recording too, so a lot of times. Like, I ain't know nothing about putting CDs out and all that shit there, you feel me? You know, I was straight out of the jet, you know what I'm saying? So, them boys used to be doing all that, so they'll put, like, little compilation albums together with my shit on them. So, I wouldn't say it was no group, but, you know what I'm saying? Them boys would put my shit out with theirs and shit. Mm -hmm. They say they ain't let my style, they say they ain't let my music. Man, I eat their words, now them niggas need a toothpick. Let my old hoe, now she beefing with my new bitch. I ate a honey pipe, bet I'm on that winning post shit. I'm on that honey pipe, girl, I finna go crazy. Girls gone wild, trying to eat me on the stage. Perform a couple of places. Let us know somewhere you perform that you like. Oh yeah, I got. I, I miss it over there, boy. Uh, probably Gainesville. Cause Gainesville always show out for me every time. You feel me? Gainesville always sold a lot. You okay, know what I'm yeah. saying? We, you know what I'm saying? We bring them out and out there. So that probably. Man, you know what? What is it about? Get they be showing now? What is it about that though? Gainesville. Uh, I don't know. I guess cause we so close. But you know, we like 45 minutes apart. So I guess they probably just more hip to it then. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some other spot. Like we go to the other spot. We get farther and it still, it still kind of had the same effect. But that game there be that real energy in the building. Like, you know what I'm saying? And and, and, and they wanted me to ask you because, you know, tiptoe, they nosy, though, dog. Like, you know, not saying we're not, not trying to label you as a street rapper, a gangster rapper. But how you feel about all the artists, rappers catching Ricos and stuff, though, dog? Uh, uh, I don't really want to too much talk, but it's just to the point of where... You know what I'm saying, man? You got to just do right, man. You know what I'm saying? When you get the opportunity to do right, fuck all the niggas in the neighborhood talking about, you know what I'm saying, bringing pounds around here. Hey, man, if you ain't trying to get you no know, try, I'll buy your box truck. Mm hmm The facts. You know what I'm saying? I'll buy you one of them semis for 35, you know what I'm saying, something like that. But I ain't getting you no pounds. So the crack tie me back. You know what coming along? Fuck that. All that trying to keep the hood happy shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That will get you fucked. You know what I'm saying? You got to do it another way. You know what I'm saying? Show niggas another way. Like, you know what I'm saying? Baby, we can open up a, a, a candlelit. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. We can open up a little sweet shop. We just open up a little sweet shop and nigga, two niggas out the apartments a day work that however we need to do for a nigga to get some money before a nigga just go to why, print. Why, why you think it's that, dude, dog? Like, niggas don't want to do legit shit. We just like, we just think. Because it's easier to get that shit. It's easier to go get that real quick and bring it back to the hood. That shit so fast. Dang. But you know what I'm saying? But to build up that empire and do all that shit take time. Niggas ain't really, niggas ain't got no patience. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas ain't got the patience for that shit to be, you know what I'm saying? That's all that is. I would, it, was, I would, it wasn't even registering to me. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even and really what, registering. What you mean by that? It was not registering to you. Like, give it, like, what you mean by that? Like, you know what I'm saying? It was like, like, happening? What? It was yeah, right. Fast? Like, you know what I'm saying? It was moving so fast to the point of why I ain't even realize what was really was going on. Like, how much, you know what I'm saying? People were really were fucking with me. How much pull, you know what I'm saying? 
how much, you know what I'm saying, the tension that she had done brought. Because, you know what I'm saying, you know you living in your body. You don't really see what everybody else see. You like, boy, you, boy, you shit, what's going on? But you don't really see it because, bitch, I wake up every day yeah, brushing yeah. teeth. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's a regular day again. Right, yeah. regular day. Mm-hmm. 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 And I ain't gonna lie to take the toes. Want to know, dog? What's been your darkest moment, dog? If if you ever had one. I had one dark moment of my whole life, probably. And that's when, the, when I, with this music shit I had, and I came to a point like, now, do I want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, boom, 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 boom. But then, you know what I'm saying? I just had them prayed, you know what I'm saying? For about 30 minutes real quick, and mm-hmm. shh, boom, you know what I'm saying? They were booked up for the rest of the year, you feel me? So okay, that prayer yeah. worked. And, and what was going on at that time that made you say, man, I don't know about this rap? So what, what was going Cause on? Because I ain't want to hustle no more. And then, so now, you know what I'm saying? So I was on some shit like, damn, I'm kind of boom, but I ain't really want to grind no more like that. So I really was just kind of trying to get out the streets, really. Facts. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, you know, a nigga needs some money. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So, the, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really getting no money on rap at that time. And I called myself trying to shy away from that, too. So it's like, I ain't know that money, you little bitch. You get down. You know what I'm saying? You get the boo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you say, like, yeah. They call me skinny rich. You know I'm coming off the hill. Yeah, you don't want beef with me. That's how your people them got killed. Why you got to fuck with other hoes, bitch? Because I'm a pimp. I got them blues. And I ain't joking that pussy smoking like an ashtray. I'm doing a hundred and a six, but I don't dread race. Uh, I, nothing really. You know what I'm saying? Ain't what Cause I don't feel. You know what I'm saying? If I tell my, if I told myself something, then it probably would have fucked me up to not get me here. You know what I'm saying? Cause I really, you know what I'm saying? So I just, you know what I'm saying? I just like the journey I took and the path I took, bro. You know what I'm saying? To get where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, ain't that, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna fuck, I don't wanna, I don't wanna fuck that little nigga head up and tell him some shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know? Yeah, I don't, I come, I, most of the time I be in the studio dolo, I go to that bitch on a, Dumbass Wednesday by my damn self, and you feel me? Knock out three, four songs. I can do about four songs in about an hour and a half, mm. two hour probably. And, and so, and do you? And, and, and let's know where in Florida you feel like you get the most love? Is it be in Jacksonville? Or do you got other places you hit? You like, oh man, I ain't gonna lie, they fuck with me over there. Yeah, like Gainesville and Ocala and uh, St. Pete. I'm gonna say St. Pete first, first and foremost, first of all. Cause they were the first one to book me. Oh. St. Pete, St. Pete, that was the first city to book me, so I always shot them out for sure, for sure. You, you remember that? You remember that shit? Yeah, that bit was turn. I got uh, my Hard Rock Cafe video. I shot half of it in there. And that was for the same song you said that hit 10,000? Um, was it for that song? Uh uh uh, it wasn't for that. Which one it was? You know what we did uh, Yeah, that, uh, the one we shot the video on was that called Hard Rock Cafe. Mm hmm. Yeah, Hard Rock Cafe. Okay, then. So the city was fucking with y'all. You shot the video, you said you shot the video over there. 
And uh, St. Pete, yeah, that's when I shot uh, my first show in St. Pete. I shot the video too mm -hmm. to that song while I, while I was there and shit. Yeah. Uh, and got them tools on. I want to be a better man. I want to do it wrong. She grabbed a coat from out the right and put a boots on. She said, I love you, baby, but I got to move on, yo. And I hate to see it lit. That's why I'm sitting in this dark room, thinking on the bright side. You know, can the pop out, but girl, you got some nice style. Nobody let me like you, let me, baby. And it's likewise. If I ever leave from by your side, ain't in my room. If you're a nigga trying to get you some money out here, man, save all your files, little brother, and put them in the wall and forget about them, little brother. I promise you gonna have you some money. You know what I'm saying? Don't be no nigga out here trying to get clean for Friday. You know what I'm saying? Be a nigga out here trying to have some money for 2029, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't bullshit, man. Working, working. That's what's up, man. Um, was your family supportive when you first started, you know, getting into music? Yeah, my family always been supportive. Yeah, my mom always been, you know what I'm saying, like, whatever you want to do, just do it good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So my mom always been, my grandma, everybody supported me. Yeah. That's good advice. Whatever you're going to do, just make sure you're good at it. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Don't, right. don't do it halfway. We got to do it all the way. All the way, you feel me? That's how she used to always preach to me, so. Man, so it sounds like the ladies in your life had a big influence on you, a big impact. Yeah, I came in the house with three girls, my grandma, my mama, and my auntie. We yeah, always in the house together. So you was raised by the ladies, right? So you got respect for the ladies, right? right? That's right. what I'm talking about. Know how to treat them, know how to know what they <laughs> like and what they don't, you know. <laughs> right. Um, what's the support like? And keep it all the way, G man. Like, what's the support like for independent artists out in, in Jacksonville right now? Uh, keep it all the way, G. I guess I. <laughs> you gotta gotta uh, you kind of gotta just get your own thing going, and then they'll kind of fall in line. Yeah. So I guess it's just like in the world, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta just put that work in. A lot of people just they they have faith in what you got faith in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? They don't really see that you got no drive or no real. People don't really like believe in it. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Till you kind of strong, so you can't do nothing but respect it. It's just the way of the world. In the blender, baby. <laughs> A lot of that is your purpose. You know what I'm saying? You're you're not only putting yourself in a position, but you're probably putting other people in a position right. as well. Yeah, I was just finna say, I think I do got a purpose though, cause I, you know what I'm saying, one of the people who give more than they get. Yeah. So I think, you know what I'm saying, with them people important in the world. You gotta you gotta think about that stuff and pat yourself on the back for real, because yeah. a lot of people aren't going to give us our flowers when we're here, right? Yep. Sometimes we gotta gift them to ourselves. Right. Cause you you know you out here working and you got a good vibe you got good energy. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. 
Because let me tell you something. I've been doing this for a long time. I've done thousands of interviews, and sometimes I get people to sit next to me that I don't want them sitting next to me because their energy is just off. You get what I'm saying? I know that. I know how that feels. <laughs> I've been there before. <laughs> so I've I've had to send people out too because I'm like I'm not fixing to deal with that. So whatever you're doing, bro, keep doing it because your energy is there. It's Appreciate radiating. It. Appreciate it. I feel love. it. That's love. That's love. That's love. That's love. <laughs> so who you got with you today? You got the guys with you today? Yeah, I got my what drop Nino. Ali Films, Gen Skin. You know what I'm saying? The guys. You already know, man. The boys in McCona are going to be there, you know? When man. I support system. Let's talk about that. You can't do this by yourself, right? Mm-mm. You got to have, like you said, a support system. Right. And you got to have a team. But your team got to be people that really want to see you win. Right. Because sometimes yeah. the people around us wearing the same jersey as us are the ones that want us to see us fail. Bring you down, too. No, nah, for real. But you got guys that are coming out of state with you. That means they really here a ride or die for you. Let's talk about your name too. How did the name come about? Uh, the skeet, my uh, my homeboy Mike just started calling me that, and then Mick Flair just come from uh, in the neighborhood when we be, you know what I'm saying, doing our thing, have a good day. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Positive energy, positive, positive energy, vibes, positive vibe, positive name, everything positive. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want to go with your music? Uh, no, I'm trying to be like um. I think I like want to go like in the MMG direction or like okay, you know what I'm saying, Fifty Cent, probably, you know what I'm saying, make sure of them too, because I want to do like them films too. Uh, I try to drop a mixtape like every six months. Okay. But, uh, but I was doing like one a year. But uh, the last one I dropped was in December, so this would be like uh, seven months, I say. But I still try to keep singles in between. Like I do the videos there for you the go. project, and then I just drop uh, whatever other music I have. I drop them singles in between with videos just to keep them going. Yeah. And then, you know, the shows will keep you. You know what I'm saying? The shows will keep you busy too. Absolutely. Uh, with that footage and stuff like that. So I just try to stay busy. Much as I can, so yeah. You can make all the best music, but if you ain't pushing it, it don't matter. Right. You right. gotta let the world know about it. Mm-hmm. You gotta have some confidence and some pep in your step. Gotta put your best foot forward. I like that. Put some pep in your step. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, throughout this music journey, what's been like the biggest struggle that you've been through? Uh, the biggest struggle probably was uh, probably like uh. Like 2020, like the beginning, uh, 2020, like yeah. when I, you know what I'm saying, I had to sit down, say me a long prayer to keep me motivated, to keep me. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, my first time really getting discouraged ever my whole life, you know what I'm saying? Not just with music. Like, I don't even get discouraged by nothing, you feel me? I'd be, I be kind of easy going, so. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For me, if I had to get me down like that, I'm like, damn, I got to do something. How'd you overcome that? I just prayed. I just said a long prayer. I sat in about 20 minutes in the room just praying. And, uh. Then I had then uh, that was like January. That was like January first. Then yeah. I had my first show uh St. Pete was in March, so it was like sixty days later. Then I was just booked up all year from now. Yeah. I don't know. Like the uh, yeah, I like the way your boy uh, Yeah, you got me in the boy with child. Uh shit team, you gotta throw the mail. Uh yeah, and it's just time about how you smell and you feel when I hug you, baby top shelf. Now these hoes don't come above you. Want you to speak into my mic, just like one two. I'm putting this bitch out in your bite when you gon' move on with your life. Bitch, you don't call the game, nobody wise. You got right here, Dino. You got it here. Okay.